Hello everyone. Hello everybody. I want to invite everyone. Keep watching Husband and Wife series. Please keep watching Husband and Wife series. You will see it on Ayobami Adebuyega Gospel Film TV. On Ayobami Adebuyega YouTube channel. God bless you. Oh, praise God. I'm so excited to have you again on Ayobami Adebuyega Gospel Film TV channel today. I know God has been blessing you with series of our productions, particularly the Husband and Wife series. And if you are a first time I hear, or you've been coming on my channel but you have not subscribed, please I beg you to please click on the subscribe button. It is actually free. I am going straight to the pastor. No. You will do no such thing. Why is it taking you so long to get a woman that truly loves you? Huh? You have proven to me that some men are not to be trusted. I, I, I met a lady in my church. Ah, ah. Church again. I stand by you believing that marriage is for better or worse. Okay. How do you intend to return to the Holy Or do you intend to disobey God who has caused to return to the Money, all things are possible. He was just calling to say hi and to check up on us. Check up on us. On you. You are playing with fire. You had 18 months to do what you are doing now at the time minutes. Beatrice, this matter must not go beyond the two of us. And I mean it. Hello, sir. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, sister. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> How did you know about my birthday? You didn't tell me, but Facebook did. <laughs> oh, that's true. So, birthday girl, how are you celebrating your day? Well, nothing much. 
I'm presently at work, actually. Oh, congratulations. You didn't tell me you got a job. Well, not that I got a paid job. I just decided to learn tailoring. Oh, that's not a bad idea. You know, it's, a, it's a, actually a very, very good thing. You could be the chief executive officer of a multi-millionaire fashion house in this town, you know. Amen, no, in Jesus' name. Ah, uh ah, -uh. you're supposed to say, thank God, instead of saying amen. <laughs> you know, um, amen is um, for prayers that are waiting for answers. But in this case, the answer is right beside you. Hmm? By the grace of God, I'm the one that the Lord will use for you to actualize this vision of you becoming a multi-millionaire um, fashion icon in this town. Ah. I can make a commitment of three million naira today being your birthday as your birthday gift. But for my good intentions not to be misunderstood um, by your husband, I, I will suggest that we we'll keep this a secret for now. You know, we have to be wise about it. Okay, sir. Good, good, good. Um, there is a restaurant um, in town um, along um, that um, upper roundabout, along the secretariat, called um, Besties Kitchen. Um, I think the birthday girl deserves a very good meal to celebrate her birthday. Um, will 3 p.m. be okay by you? Do I need to tell my husband? Madam, I cannot be teaching you what to tell your husband or what not to tell your husband. You are you're a mature woman. Uh, my take is that um, for a good gesture not to be misunderstood, sometimes we have to be wise about it. You know, in the Western world where I come from, it's not a crime for friends to just have um, dinner or lunch or, you know, especially when it's your, you know, special day. But, um, so I'm just thinking we could be, you know, reasonable about it. Okay, sir, no problem. I'll get back to you on that. Uh, please let me know when you, uh, when you made your decision by sending me an SMS. Oh, okay. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ah. Hey, what kind of temptation is this one? Ah. Hey. I'm on my way home. Ah, very good. Don't go home now. I narrowly escaped the landlord. He came with three men. I guess they are coming to evacuate our things. Ah, I should not come home. Where do you want me to go? I, I, I don't know. Just, just go somewhere. Hang around somewhere. Go to the church or your friend's place. Just don't go home now. Ah. I don't understand this. Why would my husband ask me not to come home? He doesn't even care about my birthday. He didn't say anything about it. Where does he want me to go? Even a stranger called to wish me happy birthday. You mean all these have been going on in your family and you kept it to yourself? Thank God you chose to come to the right place. I can't imagine what would have happened to you if you have gone to see that fetish man. Hmm. My husband told me not to talk to anyone about it. But the situation is, is going out of control. He has never raised his voice at me. But the way the situation is going right now, if I engage him on this matter again, 
he may beat me because he warned me that if I talk to him about this issue again, he's going to slap me. Ah, ah. Jesus Christ. Your marriage was an exemplary one in the church. So what happened? The enemy came to visit their home. But unfortunately, he met them without a guard. Hmm. You were not at the gate watching over your marriage. You see, one of the reasons why the Bible says two are better than one, because when one is falling, the other will assist the one that is falling. Woe to a couple that falls together. <laughs> you left your gate as a woman when you kept silent in the midst of your battle. Even though you were weak in the place of prayer, you should have contacted us or any family in the church for counsel or prayer support. The problem with many couples is that they will say they don't want third party interference in their homes, which is good because they don't want somebody they will divulge the secret about their home to and the person will expose their matter to people outside. But the fact is, you actually need the help of a marriage counselor and prayer partners in matters like this. And I want you to know that we still have few remnants who you can confide in that can guide and pray with you when you have issues like this. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Hmm. Now, your husband has been duped of uh, the one million naira you collected from Badio. Yes, sir. to pray and ask God to teach us what to do about this matter. Please be careful. He's calling me again, sir. You mean daddy? Yes, sir. Pick it and put it on speaker. Hello, sir. Hello, birthday girl. I just want to tell you that um, I'm still waiting at the restaurant. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Yes. She's still here. Uh, where? In the secret place of our spiritual covering. Ah. Who is this? Pastor. Pastor? Yes. The same pastor that rejected your evil money. The five million naira check. Now listen. Your evil plan as a wolf among the sheep is exposed. You have no hidden place. Your game is over. Shit. Shit. Ah! I'm finished! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And my deadline is almost here. My deadline is almost here. What do I do? I'm doomed! Ah. Libra Gabo Shinte Kelebo Shinri.
We magabazen take him in the name of Jesus. We send your family loose from the grip of Satan in the name of Jesus. The devil will not be able to afflict your home again in the name of Jesus. We pronounce you united in the name of Jesus. Your family is free, your family is delivered in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. In Jesus' name, we are praying. It is well with your family. It is well with your home. We pronounce your family blessed, secured in the name of Jesus. Today, we send the devil packing. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Satan will not be able to return to your home. Amen. Amen. This unity will not get his way back Amen. to your home. Amen. Any demon that is assigned to afflict your home, we send them away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. My brother, I want to assure you that your family is free. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you will not be afflicted again. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beatrice, I'm sorry. The devil made me lose the trust I have in you. You are not a wayward woman. No, you are not. You have been with me through thick and thin. I'm sorry. Thank God we have won this battle. Hallelujah. And there are many more ahead of us to win. Amen. Many more victories. Amen. You are amazing. Praise God. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Simon. Thank, Thank God. you for helping us fight our battle. Thank God. In fact, I have learned a great lesson here. Mm -hmm. That it is important for a couple to belong to a local church. Mm -hmm. The church has played a vital role in helping us to sustain our home. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank God. Thank you. Uh, but there's still one thing. What is it? How do I pay back the, the one million naira to Mr. Gladio? My brother. Yes, God will make a way. Amen. Amen. A priest at home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife. Gently, gently. Okay. Love each other um, sincerely. Now, can you just lift your leg up? Okay. A Christian yeah. home is the best. Very good. Yeah. A godly home oh, where true love is shared. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Husband and wife. Oh. Love each other sincerely. Ta da! Happy birthday! Happy belated birthday to oh you, my God! <laughs> 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 oh, thank you. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I'm so glad you love it. <laughs> yeah. Ta da. Wow. Ciao. Mama is calling me again. Oh, come on. Take the call and tell her we are sending her something very soon by the grace of God. Wow. Hello, Mama. Hello, Olamideko. Why have you refused to pick my calls? In fact, I have decided that first thing tomorrow morning, I'll be in the city. Ah, Mama, actually, I'm so sorry for not picking your calls since all these days. I'm, I'm sorry, just forgive me. Very soon, we are planning to come and bring you to the city so that you come and greet us. How is your wife? She's fine, she's fine. There's something happening that I want to discuss with you. Eh? What is it, Mama? 
Some people came down to the village. They said they want to buy out of your father's land. Your uncle brought them. And being the only son of your late father, they said you are the one to give approval whether to sell the land or not. They were here a few days ago. This one was calling you and you refused to pay my cost. Now they are here again. Uh, Mama, are they there with you right now? Yes, my son, they are here with me. Please give the phone to them. Talk. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, my mother just told me that you are interested in buying my father's land. Yes, though I'm not the one buying it. We are here representing a private university known as Into University. Into University? Yes, it's a private university that is looking for about 100 acres for its permanent site. We have been here on two different occasions. The first time we met with Mama because we were told that the land belongs to her late husband. And Mama told us she has a son who has a say on the landed property. On the second occasion, we came to make private findings with government surveyors to ensure that your land is not on government acquisition. Now we have done our findings and it is clear that the land belongs to you. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, the land belongs to my forefather. And uh, my late father inherited it from his father before my father now transferred it to me. Um, like how many acres are you intending to buy? 100 acres. And it is obvious with what they have shown us that you have more than 100 acres. Ah, yes, yes. We have about 250 acres there. Although we, don't, we do not intend to sell everything. And, but I must tell you, sir, that one acre is 500,000 Naira. I don't think that would be a problem, sir. Though we'll still negotiate and ask for a little reduction. Uh, yes, no problem, sir. Uh, can you give me some time? Can you be patient so that I'll just come and join you at the village right now? How long will that take, sir? Mm, I should be in the village in about one hour, 15 minutes, thereabout. Okay, since it won't be more than one hour, 15 minutes, or at most, one and a half hours, we can wait. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I'll be with you in a jiffy. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Are you calling? Am I dreaming? Who are you calling? I'm not calling anybody. I want to do some calculations. 500,000 times 100. Am I dreaming? Eh? What? Nico. Eh? 50 million. 50 million Naira. Hey! Huh? Uh, um, I, uh, um, uh, what are you still waiting for? Please, mm. do you still have money so that we can... Oh. I am your change. Hey. Oh, <laughs> 50 million naira. God, you are too much. You are too much. 50 million. Ah, because it changed. Are you going with me? Before go. Ah, I don't learn it. Ah. I don't want to In a money. 50 million. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Well, I'm going. Ah. Glory be to God in the highest. We thank God for bringing us to the concluding part of the House of a Stranger on Husband and Wife series. Thank you so much for all your comments. We believe you've been blessed. Uh, and I want you to please take note of the messages and the lessons you have learned. I pray that God will use them to better our homes in Jesus' name. So what should we expect after the House of a Stranger? That is why I'm here. I got a good news for all our viewers. But before I tell you, 
Uh, recently, a couple of days ago, my wife and I, together with the family, we went on vacation. You know, as couples, one of the ways by which you spice up your relationship is by having a time out. You, your spouse, the kids, let's go somewhere, have fun. A Go to a place quiet. It doesn't have to be an expensive outing, but just create an avenue where you and your spouse can be together, talk together, think together, talk about how to better your marriage. Because one of the best way to keep a relationship is when there is communication without distraction. And I know that you will love that. One of these days on husband and wife series, families and friends around the world will be talking more about how to organize couples hangout. I know you'll love that. But what really happened at the vacation is what I want to talk to you about. God gave us a message. Yeah. Yeah. And we shot it. We were not even there with our crew. So it was a family shooting and family making of a movie. And it came out powerful. And that is what we are going to be watching next Friday on Husband and Wife series. And the title is myself myself is actually powerful and i know that it will bless your life yes it will really bless your life please be on the lookout if you have not subscribed please click the subscribe button click on the notification bell so that i can get notified when the video is uploaded on friday and by two weeks time on the 30th of october another powerful syria we start on husband and wife series. So powerful. I want you to know that this message will bless your life. The title is Waiters. Yes. Waiters is anointed. Waiters is intriguing. Waiters is full of suspense. Waiters is highly emotional. That message is going to bless you. Please help us tell more families about this channel tell them to search for ayobami adegbega gospel film tv on youtube and subscribe we know the devil is out to attack marriages and he doesn't stop at that so we will not stop at giving you biblical principles on how to better your homes thank you so much god bless you the of the stranger.